Alfred Montana here, and I'm in sunny Seattle. This is what we call sunny Seattle, and guess what, guys? I am here at the Boats Afloat Boat Show, and there's another section at Century Link Field that there's also a boat show. So it's the same boat show. There's two parts. They got you know transportation within both, but I wanted to come out here so I can show you guys some of the boats that I thought you guys might enjoy with my, with my channel. So. Stay tuned if you want to see some of these really cool boats here at the Boats Afloat in Seattle. Oh, freezing like you wouldn't imagine. I mean, what guy from Miami comes in shorts to, uh, I don't know, it's been a long day, guys. But listen, a lot of cool stuff, so stay tuned if you want to see some amazing boats. Let's do this. All right, guys. The treat of all treats, guys. I'm <laughs> telling you guys, I got the cult leader here. No. <laughs> so... Look, um, on my YouTube channel, you know, I focus on rig boats, that's my passion, but I'm doing videos of all types of boats, and some of you guys that watch my channel, you know, are relentless and say, you gotta go see this brand called Stabycraft, Stabycraft, Stabycraft. Hey man, I'm tired of it, that's it. I'll, I came <laughs> over here just to Seattle, I was like, where is this Stabycraft thing? Where are they? I wanna do a video, maybe I can just stop the comments. And I am fortunate enough to be here with the founder and CEO, Paul Adams. And uh, I have not talked to him. And one of the things on my channel, I like to find out how someone got from this point to this point. Because for anybody that's building anything, I think where you get the best part of the journey is everything in the middle. Not to when you get something amazing like that. <coughs> so Paul, wanted to um, first of all thank you for being here um, allowing me to ask you this and uh, I will be bowing soon people. <laughs> so so tell me tell me how how did this how did this product originate where what happened hey you know well it's 32 years and, okay. a, f and a few gray hairs <laughs> maybe a little so. bit more than a few <laughs> so uh, so I was 27 years old uh, I was working for an engineering company in our local home port and um, we serviced a number of uh, fishing boats and we had a lot of fishermen come and visit us in our, in our smoker room, you know, where you have a cup of, cup of tea or a cup and of coffee. In New Zealand, right? In New Zealand, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah, we got to tell that. South end of New Zealand. And uh, these couple of guys, uh, mates of ours, uh, fishermen, were um, abalone, power in, in New Zealand terms, and kinna fishermen. Okay. And they had some quota to catch, annual quota to catch, and they they, they caught pawa and, and kinna sea urchins. Mm -hmm. And they'd come into our smoker room and talk about, ah, oh, we had to fix that bloody inflatable again, you know, it was always going down on us, oh, yeah, suck at this and all that. And so they ended up, they came up with this idea, it's like, why don't you roll up some aluminum tubes? I'd say aluminium in New Zealand, but you know, I know you guys, aluminum tubes. So. Comment, about, comment below, guys. <laughs> Tell them how to talk in, yeah. in American terms. God damn. <laughs> Stop um, playing around, yeah. Paul. I got, a, I got a comment, those diehards are gonna, okay. So yeah, so some aluminium tubes, uh, basically weld them together like a rigid hulled inflatable, mm -hmm. but to have all the properties or, or the ability to actually uh, have that boat stay um, stay up, not have to maintain it, and have longevity and such like. So that's where the idea originated from. We kind of, wow, well, that's kind of like a crazy idea. It's like, no, 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 it's a really good idea. Um, we didn't build the very first one. They went round to another engineering shop because we said, ah, you know. Mm -hmm. They went round to this other engineering shop, got it made, brought it back round to us and said, hey, look at this. Mm, and everybody got excited. Well, actually it was really funny because we said, oh man, look at that welding, it's really bad and the joins were really bad. It was like, and they said, well, hey, you know, we told you, you should have, you should have built it. You know? And, you know, one of our fishing buddies down the road, old Pig Hawkless, uh, Pig wants one. Why don't you build him one? Okay. So, kind of that that put us up the, for the challenge. The challenge. Like, yeah, we can do it better than those yeah. guys. And so we we worked out without any CAD or any technology mm -hmm. how to make the cuts and how to weld it together and how to make it neat and 
Nice. And, and so that was that's that's where it evolved from. So, so yeah. were, were you drinking whiskey or tea? No, 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 no. Just, yeah. There was something yeah. going on there. Probably, probably a couple of beers. Uh, uh, so so okay. So I'm in, in, I'm a red boat guy, right? So yeah. I'm really passionate yeah. about red boats. And one of the things that I like, and one of the things that interests me on this particular product is the fact that you have separate chambers. Like on a rib boat, if you lose a chamber on one side because it you know, gets punctured for whatever reason, you know, you still have other chambers. Yeah. It's the same premise here. Yeah, it is. Right? It is. So, um, so, so that, that concept of having, you know, a chambered aluminum, you know, pontoon. It's just the same as a, as a rib. Yes. It, yeah, same principles. And one of the things that we really found, you know, like is is the the design of the rib is really good, you know, the performance and the ride and such like. Even though there's a lot of things to do with the hull and hull shapes and such like, but we've got all those properties built in. We've got the longevity. We decided that originally we started with a round tube. Um, that was because ribs were round, right? Yeah. And then we said, well, hang on, why does it need to be round? Yeah. It's, a, it's aluminium. We can make it any shape we want. So then we made a, a D inside, so we in, increased the internal beam on the, on the little rib. And then, then it was like, well, why does it have to be even that shape? So we started playing with shapes and working out how the chines worked and making sure that you know, the hull performed uh, to its best. And over the years, if you looked at the different iterations of hull shape, or sorry, tube shape you'd see quite a quite a range and quite a variation in it from what it is now yeah and you know all our testing programs i mean this 2500 here is um you know it's testament to the pacific northwest we're really specific on on this uh for this market but we do a lot of testing uh both from a um, aesthetic ergonomic and performance point of view when we go through our hulls so that people you know so that we've got the best that that it can be ensuring that you know the customer is going to get the best best ride and the best performance and so it's like oh paul so when you guys built that very first boat for who was it that you said that i oh, pig hawkless yeah oh, he was uh, he was uh, a local fisherman uh, down uh, okay down so, home port. so tell me about that right that moment that you guys all had your mind spinning you already had somebody kind of like shove uh a boat in your face that kind of sparked that fire and said you know what and then they kind of like tested that inner fire in you and you just said all right you want to play we'll play well and was, you built yeah yeah well and tell uh, me about I mean, that, that first that, boat it was kind of fascinating like we built the first boat and it was you know we built it after hours because we were still working for the other company and and we um, we built that and then somebody else wanted one it was like mm -hmm. oh, okay Interesting. And then, so we did two, and then we did a little business plan. It's like, well, maybe we could sell X amount, and, and if we sold, you know, for that much, you know, would, would it be a viable business? And it was like, oh, I think so. And then next thing, we were going to the bank and getting and borrowing some money, mm -hmm. and starting up, and and kind of making it sort of serious. Um, and and so you know, it just it just evolved. I mean, we were really small and low key at the start. Anybody came in, we could customize it make it to whatever they wanted and then as time went on we become more structured and process and design and styling and all that sort of thing was there was there a moment that you really like soaked it up and you said wow this brand and this this is gonna go far well you, you know what what we were always seen as the ugly duckling okay where I was like oh man what's that ugly thing you know and I remember there was a, there was a guy and his wife came came to look at a boat one day in, in a yard, and they he looked at it and he said, "Man, this is this is the boat I can go diving. We can fish out of this, and all the rest of it." And you know what his wife said, right? She said, "You're not buying that boat. It's ugly. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh no." And uh, so so really at that stage it was like I, I, it was like one of those aha moments. It's like man, if I don't actually look at how I can style these and make them look appealing, then for, for the decision maker, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> then I'm not in I'm yes. not in the game. So yes. <clears throat> sort of transformed from uh, what was then flat hard edges mm -hmm. to rounded curved shapes. 
Well, I, 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 the, the look is very aggressive. I think the boat looks mean. It looks like yeah, it's ready to Tough. go. It ready to go ahead and just yeah. beat up the day. Yeah, I mean, I, I really liked about that and the, the construction and the build that you guys have put on it. Yeah, um, I'd be fascinated to see how you guys build them in New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, because well, come down for a visit. Well, we'll, we'll show you well, around. Well. well if 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 <laughs> if there's a rip boat they can go that far. Yeah. <laughs> but but I think um there's people that are either really, really love the product because what I've noticed guys, some of you guys just are diehard fans yeah. of the product and and just with the little bit of time that I've got to know Paul here while I'm here at the show, you know, all everything starts at the top, right? Um and when you see some of the social media because they have a big following on youtube and if you haven't followed yeah. them on youtube check out their their videos um it shows you know real people you know sharing their experiences yeah and uh he was telling me that you know he started you know doing the very first initial videos and he put them all together and he threw it out there and his and then all of a sudden his team was like wait a second why is the boss doing these <laughs> you know we got yeah. 20 year olds in here that could yeah. go ahead and do this yeah and all of a sudden they have this thing and and i think uh any brand is a testament of what they built right so you know i always tell people like i told you earlier you you're you're the you're the gun but you yeah. you don't have any bullets which is your team you can't get anything done you you're you're just to fix yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's it. And honestly, we've we've got a fantastic team. <coughs> with, um, you know, we've grown the business from from where it was 32 years ago to, you know, we currently have 130 staff and and growing. Wow. You know, we've got we've got more to do this year. Um, there's lots of opportunity, and we've got great process and structure in, in within the business now. Uh, it's really exciting. It's really it's great to kind of step back and go, yeah, this is. This is the way I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be. I wanted to um, to have a business that was a manufacturing business, not a boat building business. Nice. And Staby Craft is a boat manufacturer, true and true. Nice. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool in itself. What, what what plans do you have? So, you know, I'm in the South Florida area, and yeah. the perception is we don't see many aluminum boats. And one of the things that I'm trying to do in the boat world is it's kind of like shrink it a little bit because what i've noticed in this world in in the boat world is that you know the pacific northwest guys only have this type of boat because that's what they know yeah 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 the guys in miami they only know these guys these boats because that's all they know and then you have the same type of people putting all the same things was well, that something to do with like parochialism i don't know like I, ha I have no idea i'm trying to figure it out so my thinking is hey if I go ahead and make this boating world a little smaller, a little bit more that people can actually see everything, you know, maybe it just, hey, maybe we'll see more aluminum boats yeah. in South Florida. Yeah, it's kind of why, why is there more fiberglass? And, yes, you know, so and that, that 15, yeah. um, I would love to see that boat in the sandbar in Hallover, oh. which is, guys, uh, I did walkthroughs and we'll, we'll link, I'm going to link those videos. I did a walkthrough with Tyler from Boat Country, which is one of your dealers down yes. here. Yes, yeah. Um, and they, they, they have opened up a dealer network, and it's, it's just, is it just currently in the Pacific Northwest? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So we're, we're um, uh, Coos Bay, Oregon. Okay. We're Portland, Oregon. We're Everett, Washington. We're Soldotna, Alaska. Um, yeah, at, at this stage, well, and, and growing. Well, and here's <coughs> the thing, right? So there's an influx of many aluminum style boats here in Seattle because this is like the place where you have a great workforce and, and you guys build yours in New Zealand. Um, can you envision a point that maybe you can go ahead and have some Staby Craft built in America? Yes. Oh, that's big, guys. Yep. That is big. Yep. There's definitely an opportunity for us to do it. You know, like, you know, you think about um, uh, shipping these boats. I mean, this boat here, you have to, you know, there's a bit of work to do to put it in a container and then a bit of work to do at this end to actually bring it out and put it together. Um, I think we could eliminate a lot of those things if we actually had a, uh, a base of some description here in the, in the Pacific Northwest. So we're looking at that. Yeah, we're looking at that opportunity. Well, well guys, look, um, I'm very... Um, pleased to be able to to, to talk to Paul. Yeah, I don't cool want to take up a, a, a lot of his time. 
Um, <coughs> it's incredible. If you haven't seen some of the walkthrough videos or some of the content on their channel, I would encourage you to take out, uh, take a look at their web uh, website or their YouTube channel. And, and there's also the Staby fan page, uh, which is really, really, you know, you think about the cult. Yeah, yes, yeah, the cult. Was like, honestly. Guys, don't say anything more comments. I went straight to the top. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people that are just, they, they love the fan page and they interact and share the, ideas the and boat, it's just great. Look, yeah. this boat right here, um, I, I was walking with Tyler and it was so modular. He started putting things out. I was like, yeah, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Somebody had to be out there having a beer saying, why don't we just do this? Yeah. And then it just evolves into something amazing. Hey, look, we like being different, eh? Yes, I like <laughs> We like being different. Guys, so we, Paul, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Have we run out of SD card? <laughs> Paul, what happened? Uh... So we had the interview of all interviews, <laughs> but I guess my SD card um, was full. But but here's a good thing that I just realized: I have everything on an external audio. Yeah, true. So. Everything that we actually talked in the interview, we still have. So, yeah. which is what I want you guys to hear, mm -hmm. and and some of the things that we were talking about, you know, and we'll kind of just go back through it, you know, with the whole social media, because I think we started talking about yeah. social media, <clears throat> and I was explaining that um, Paul one day was like, you know, let the me middle go of ahead. Alaska. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let, let me go ahead and just go ahead and, you know put a couple videos together, piece them together. How do I do this iMovie thing? And, you know, he puts it together and all of a sudden he's got this video that gets like, what, 25,000? 25,000 views in 24 hours. And he's like, whoa. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're like, I'm the cult leader. This is how it happened. <laughs> so I knew that video was easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that inspired yeah. some of the guys in his team to kind of compete, right? They're like, oh, yep. The old man's doing videos. I could do that's, videos. That's it. Yeah. And, and it's funny. I can do better videos. Be, before, <laughs> be, before he actually did the actual video, everybody yeah. talked about it. People dithered a little bit. You know, hey, I'm not going to do here and there. And then all of a sudden, it's always the guy who's pulling, the guy at top that actually yeah. pulls one direction to make sure that everybody's pulling. And he inspired <clears throat> his team. And, and now they have a fantastic YouTube channel that um, um, I, I think is, 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 is very well done. Yeah, you know, we, we try and we, we've got three or four guys we use who tell extremely good stories through the lens. Yeah, and you know, being able to tell good stories is, and you know that yourself. Absolutely. It's like, if you can tell a good story, people really want to engage with it. If you, if it's just an ad, you know, then it's you know. But yeah, real life stuff is just so bloody important. Well, I think <clears throat> when they start seeing those videos of you guys, you know, you know, in rough waters, you know saying hey you know it can get it can get ugly in a, in, in a matter of you know an hour two hours but you know that you're going to come home you we're, know? we're having fun what, what, yeah we're, we're gonna have fun we'll talk about this yeah you know 20 years from now because at the end of everything all we keep is our memories yeah. i mean we don't take anything else with us yeah, very good point um very good point and i think uh you know when when we're around people and we see that you know tomorrow's not promised you know, we just had uh, a major um, celebrity down here, a gentleman by the name of Kobe Bryant, yeah. you know, beloved yeah. by everyone in America and from one moment <coughs> to the next, you know, and it's hard to fathom that. And um, but when when you get in certain places and you go to make those experiences and, and, and you can be in a in a in a beautiful scenic area where you see snow and stuff like that like like boating in a boat like this right now will be comfortable because you're closed you're you're closed up it's designed for that um and i think yeah. it's something that that at least if somebody's in the market for a a, a offshore boat to so take a look at this brand because you know it all starts at the top and when you see guys like you guys that are pushing me to go ahead and show the product it's a testament of the work that, that follow the cult done. follow the cult <laughs> but you know what I'm, I'm gonna have to say something here because you know I got nine percent viewers that are women I want to talk about your wife well that's interesting 
I want to talk about your wife. My partner. There you go. Or, or I mean, is it your wife? I mean, my my partner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about your partner. Yeah. And Barbara. Okay, because let me tell you, right now, and I'm, I'm gonna, sh sh I'm gonna kind of open up on my end, right? So, I, well, I didn't know this is going this way. Uh, <laughs> listen, guys, we might not even say this. This is, <laughs> this is after this is, this is after the second. But here's the thing, right? Because so, 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 you know, there's scenes that say, you know, behind every strong, powerful <clears throat> man, there's there's a there's a stronger woman. Um, and you know, in this industry and in every industry, and especially guys, when you're building something, you know, you have to take your punches. Um, tell me how, you know, that has helped in the building of this brand because... Well, you know, when I first met Barbara there was some, there was an, an immediate attraction. Okay. But there's some really cool things about Barbara that I liked and one of them was she'd caught a marlin. And nice. She, and she'd released it. Oh, nice. She could back a trailer. And yeah, I don't know. Check, and you, checking yeah, checking check, the boxes. Check, and, and, uh, and she loved fishing. And uh, she she got that from her from her father, and so Barbara and I've been on some awesome excursions in Stabie craft mm -hmm. fishing. Uh, we've been up in Alaska last year, and I really like uh, the aspect of Barbara's point of view of how she sees a boat. Mm. It's not just about me. As I, I like to understand what is the customer like. What do they you know What do they enjoy? Is it the heating? Is it the ergonomics, is it the seating, is it what, how does it feel, is it the colours, you know, there's a whole myriad of things. Yeah. And Barbara really adds um, a really good part of that to the equation, and it really helps. So I, that's, that's cool. I, I, think, yeah. uh, I, I, I think that, you know, whenever you have something amazing like this, it, it's, it's more than one person. Yeah. Obviously, there's that person who sets the vision and you guys all collectively make something incredible. And one of the things that I've noticed, and especially in this area, um, when you have a strong team and it, you know everybody's pulling in the same direction, you have yeah. an incredible product. So yeah. I'm happy to see them here in the Pacific Northwest. Hopefully we can see them in the East Coast and the West Coast. And we'll work on that. And I'm excited about to see what uh, Stabycraft <coughs> brings for the future of boating. Paul, thank you cool. so much. Awesome. We're, we're out of oh, here. Awesome, mate. I caught him. I was like, wait a second. Hold on. Did I go a little too deep in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's done now. <laughs> when I said wife, he, was like, he looked at me he was like, wait. I said, uh-oh, this might go. I was just in a transgender bathroom the other day. I was like, wait a second. Well, did I just mess up this interview? <laughs> no, I'm cool. Barbara's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of here.